Thank you for, for joining us. And uh, this webinar is for the linear ESP system, which is developed and uh, produced and already tested by Trio. I will try to show you briefly some main cases from Trio history. Same time, I will explain you about the linear ESP, its advantages, its uh, applications for the linear ESP system. And we'll be ready and we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Just type it in the email or ask moderator for the access to the microphone and web camera. So let's start. Uh, briefly about the trail history, I can, as I can see, as far as I can see from our chat, there are some current partners from Latin America. They are well known with the history of Truel. And as far as I can see, there is a Tom here. And I'm sure he, uh, Tom, you don't know about, a lot about the Truel. So let me give some brief history case of Truel. So Truel is a Ukrainian company with the manufacturing facilities in Ukraine and in Russia as well. We start our history in 1993, and we was the first in the USSR region manufacturer of the power electronic equipment. Year by year, we was developing our product range, and basically starts from 2000. We start to develop first VSDs for Asian. I can say from that time, we start to move to oil and gas industry. Starts from 2002, we was working on our VSDs, and nowadays we have all the line of the VSDs, different enclosures, different spool types. We can control any type of the motor linear, which I will present, PMM induction, whatever. We can do everything. As, as well as we have a medium voltage drives, which could be customized in different enclosures. We have the downhill sensors, and we are really experiencing it. We have the last year projects with the, I mean, we signed the India, but it's world known oil companies. We developed the through shaft sensors for them. Let's say our main proud for the last years, linear the main case of why we are here. Let me pop this one. About the history. So um, right now, Trio is uh, about 700 people's employees. Among them, it's about 900 design engineers. We have three manufacturing facilities, uh, two based in Ukraine and one in Russia. And we have the whole production of electronic units to metal working. So basically, a component of the linear ESP system developed, produced in Ukraine. Right now, we are starting to work with our partner in Latin America, for Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela. I think in the nearest future, we will add more companies here. Regarding the turnover of the company, you know that, I mean, 2014 was difficult for everybody. And this year, we are targeting to get more than it was in 2013. So let's say nowadays, it's three all time. First of all, because of our new developments like linear ESP system. That's how our production looks. So we have the metal working, some 3D printers, assembling, the straw. Uh, variable speed drive, it's true, variable speed drive, which is universal. And one of the main benefits of this uh, VSD is it could be used from, for the all life cycle of the well. So you can run it, start from ESP operation, and then transfer it to linear motor. Same time, it doesn't matter you're going to use induction or PMM motor. I mean, it could, in the same enclosure, it could run all types of the motor. About the general specification of the system, uh, the length of the system is 63 feet. As far as we checked, and we already installed some of the system in Russia and installing in the US and going to install in Argentina, there is pretty good length. We need to be careful when we go into the deviated wells. Almost the same piston pump lens. Uh, the tubing size, we have the tubing size to connect for the, let's say, international standard. At the same time, we have, we call it Russian standard, which is GOST. And the weight of the system is a little bit more than 2,000 LB. Let's go next. That's how it looks like on the picture. So we have, on the surface, we have the VSD, we have the transformer, and we have called Christmas tree. Then we're going down with the, the main thing we are going down with no rods. We are going just with the cable and tubing. We are going down and if you will see from the bottom we have the sensor, we have linear motor and on the top we have the piston pump with the gravity wells. And basically we can go to deviated wells, no problem. Currently we can go 
to the well through the 40 degrees angle, we can go pretty much deep. Uh, so, uh, the other one picture and the other one slide. So, this is a complete solution for oil production from marginal well. Currently, we can ensure the flow from 5 barrels per day to 150 barrels per day. We have a plan, we have a strategy, we have a design how to increase the production up to 300 barrels per day. We know about the needs of the market and basically we are targeting in the future, we are targeting to replace SOP system in the late stage of production in the marginal wells. So basically the client will take out the ESP and install the linear ESP and you know use it till the end of the well life. And if you are the oil producer or servicing company would really save the money in the process because you don't need to keep all these deviation things strictly to the useful piece. Uh, our system doesn't care about that. Going to the next slide, uh, this is the final main reasons of LESP is better than ASRP. Uh, again, that's a theory because we are not the oil producers and the uh, we are not so close to the oil producing markets. But we can go to the high depth wells and deviated wells. Uh, we don't have the problems with the rods on the deviated wells, so the inter repair period is much more higher than usual SLP. We have the smart surface equipment, so you have the VSD to control the system. You don't need to use the huge metal pump jack on the surface, you don't need to pay the money for this metal, for the installation process, you are not spending the time and money again. The installation is pretty simple. Uh, it's simple regulation of drawdown pressure and flow rate in the oil wells with high contamination. Uh, again, the system is more reliable because of you don't need to use the rods. And it's e more easy maintaining and our expectation of the maintaining is about two years, once per two years. The deviated wells mostly have a huge problem with the roads. And uh, I mean, I met some companies in the US last month and they are making the work over of the well something like every two or three months, paying $10,000 per month. So, I mean, you don't need it for sure. And the well is not operating, you're paying the money for the work over, for the new pump. So, those are the main benefits of the system. The next one slide showed that there. Again, the main parameters and the bottom part of the system. You can see the downfall sensor, some seal. Uh, we have the screen sense, sense screen. And uh, basically, based on your well data and your oil type, the screen sense will, could be, you know, from the smallest size, like 50 microns, up to we cannot install it at all. Let's go to the next one. Again, so it's newly operated suspended deep and conventional wells. Again, from our research, we found that on the late stage of production, some oil companies making decision just to freeze the well and stop the production because of there is no economical background for this. In this case, linear ESP could help you to open and to the suspended deep and conventional wells. Again, the, the diameter of the system is 4.7 inches. Basically, it will go to 5.5 inches casing, in the case you don't have a huge deviation. It could give you a stable production uh, because of the algorithm I've explained you and shown you before, because of the algorithms of adjusting of the number of strokes. You can go pretty much deep and uh, regarding the gas content, I'm sure the system could work with the more than 20% gas content, but that's only one data we still checked. At the end of our webinar, I will show you the first test results from Russia, and I'm sure in the nearest couple of weeks, I will show you some test data from US and the beginning of the next year from Argentina, and uh, you know we will we will be able to see all the picture and how it's going, how it's work. I will go back just to make some background. It took us about three years to develop this system, and we know about the competitors. Uh, from Chinese, we know about the Baker system. I mean, we know everything about that, but uh, why it took us three years to develop it and why we are offering it only right now, because right, only right now we are sure we can offer it and it will operate in, in the long period. 
we decided to make all the tests on our background behind me. The system is still operating over there, which is uh, working in uh, endurance test for the last year, I think. We, sometimes we are taking it out to, to make the measurement, you know, to check what was the slider distortion. Uh, the system is based, the motor is based on the permanent magnet. This is the uh, end of the motor slider. Uh, the next operation will be connection, the pump. Okay, here they are connecting the uh, motor piston, uh, sorry, motor slider to piston pump. And then putting the installation down to the well. Uh, so we will run the two systems in the US. We are running about four systems in Russia. Uh, we will run one in Argentina, we will run quarter one 2017, we will run about five more in US and five more in Russia. Nowadays, currently, mostly we are doing tests, I mean field tests. If you will step back to commercial side, we are ready to offer different options like testing and so on. We are, we are welcoming everybody to Ukraine to visit our factory, manufacturing facility, manufacturing process. And again, I'm ready and I will be glad to, to give you time, your personal conversation by phone or by Skype, whatever. So, yeah, we we'll appreciate your questions or, or connection to talk. Okay, all is clear, great. I mean, Roman, we can discuss anytime. I hope you was interested in the system and we can present it to the final customers. I'm sure there is a huge market for the system in the United States, in Argentina, in Brazil, Russia, of course, Asia Pacific countries. I mean, whenever you have the late stage of production in the oil wells or whenever you have the, the the low wells from the beginning of problems with the SRP systems. If there is no question, I think we can finish. I will try and for sure I will follow up uh, the webinar results and some information by email to all the participants. Appreciate your participation and uh, have a good day. Let's stay in touch. Bye bye.